Safi mtazamaji swala la finance bill mwaka 2023 mwaka 2024 inaendelea kuwa ngumu kabisa na sasa hivi ukiletewa behind the scene hautaamini unaambiwa hata William Samuel Ruto mwenyewe akina Brigadier Gashagwa hata kama wanatoa vitisho hata wao wanaelewa kabisa kuna wengine ambao wako tu hapo hapo Kenya kwanza wanaipinga na kuna uwezekano mkubwa kabisa wakasema hapana siku ambayo watu watakuwa wanaipitisha sasa hivi uh, sorry tunasubiri i think tuna sub tu siku chache alafu tuko tunaona kama inapita au haipiti au so bwana sasa kuna mtu mmoja ambaye mimi huaga na mkubali sana uh, seneta wa Bursia kama sijakosea anaitwa Okia au mtata au mtata bwana yeye yeah, aliamua kama mbaya mbaya basi mimi a uh, nitawaongoza kwa sababu uh, inaonekana watu hawashughuliki shughuliki mimi nitakuwa miongoni mwa watu wa kwanza kwanza kuonyesha juhudi si ndio eh uh, kuenda pale uh, kotini na kuambia kwamba okay kuna kitu ambacho kinaendelea hapa lakini kitu chenyewe bwana uh, kuna mapungufu mengi sana ambayo haiwezi uh, ika uh, ika ruhusu bwana hiki kitu bwana kuendelea au so bwana sokia alienda sasa okia sasa hivi Uh, anaendelea kufanya pia mahojiano au interview na vyombo tofauti tofauti vya habari lakini kuna kama shocking uh, revelation wakati akifanyiwa interview ndo nataka tuangalie kwenye video hii hapa lakini kabla hata tujiangalie okia alisema kitu kipi hiki bwana mimi naomba yeyote ambao ananitazama kwa mara ya kwanza kwamba jiunge na familia ni rais kabisa unachotakiwa kufanya ni kusubscribe tu alafu kila kitu kitakaa vizuri lakini pia uniambie unanitazama kutoka sehemu gani that's kama uko hapa plus 254 lakini kama uko nje wewe niambie unanitazama kutoka nchi gani lakini unaweza kaniachia bendera ya nchi yako tu hapa chini kwenye sehemu ya comments na naamini uh, kila kitu kitakaa vizuri lakini pia siwezi nikasahau kusema asante kwa kila mtu ambaye siku zote tunakuwa pamoja kupitia ulimwengu wa siasa straight away uh, senator kio mtata of busia kenya uh, no senator kio mtata of busia kenya has made shocking revelations about the finance bill being proposed by the kenya kwanza regime in that some in that some MPs who support president Ruto are allegedly opposed uh, to the proposed 3% housing levy also bana na hapa the government is in tight spot as a result of this revelation because president Ruto is still adamant about getting the bill passed omtata um, also claimed that some MPs who are in the present camps are secretly helping him in his legal battle to stop the finance bill there are unnamed individuals within president russo's camp who are opposed to the finance uh, finance bill and its provisions according to, to uh, according to senator omtata a vocal opponent of the housing levy sasa uh, tayari hapo kuna kitu ambacho unagundua na by the way it's it's very risky ni kwambie ni kwa sababu gani imagine kuna kitu ambacho rais anataka ifanyike au ifanyiwe na kitu hiki bwana wananchi hawakipendi lakini sasa amejaribu kutafuta stories ionekane sio wananchi hawaitaki ionekane ni viongozi wanaitaka wanaitaka kuna wabunge ambao wanajua vizuri kabisa watu hawapendi hii kitu kinachonishangaza sana ni hata wabunge wenyewe wanaogopa kuipinga kwa sababu rais kasema Siko kama unaona hiyo hiyo risk ilivyo like wabunge wabunge hawana nguvu kabisa like imefika point ambapo wao wenyewe wanaogopa kumwambia Ruto wa watu wamekataa Hiyo ni risk ya kwanza Ya pili najua vizuri kabisa mtu hawezi aka ni ni wachache tu wanapenda ku betray hawa uh, viongozi wao na wazungumzia wa party leaders and and staffs ndio But mpaka nafikia hatua mpaka wengi majority wanakwambia haiwezi lakini bado una insist Hiki ni kitu ambacho hao wabunge wangeshinda mapema kabisa. Mimi sioni ni wapi Ruto atawapeleka. Haya ni hata wakipinga. Hata wakikataa kwa namna gani. Mimi sioni ni wapi Ruto atawapeleka. So it's wakubali tu kwamba huyu jamaa hata kama ni kiongozi wetu tunamheshimu si party leader na nini but kwa hii hapa na hapa hapa haiwezekani 
Unanipata mtazamo wa so risk ya kwanza ni wabunge hawawezi wakaamua. It's rais ndo anaamua. Cha pili ni split iko hapa bwana ni split fulani vikubwa sana kwa sababu kuna team A na kuna team B hapa Kenya kwanza. Team A na team B kuna wengine wana support to Ruto like blindly like watch a system support. They don't care whether mwananchi analia hali they just supporting William Samoei. Lakini kuna watu wengine ambao wamejitokeza na kusema eh bwana sempetu bwana watu hawataki. Eh watu hawataki kabisa hii issue so tafanyaje? Unaendelea mtazamaji wangu. So Okia anasema <coughs> kuna watu ambao wanamsupport lakini chini ya maji yani wasijulikane wanams. Unaona unaona yani imefika point ukweli tunatetea ukweli kimya kimya. It's very risky by the way. Yaani unatetea ukweli kimya kimya ndio usijulikane umetetea ukweli. <laughs> aya aya uh, politicians and the general public have voiced strong opposition to the proposed legislation which will impose a 3% housing levy on employee salaries. Um Tata asserts that these MPs are uh, tacitly supporting his legal action in an effort to stop the bill from becoming law. Unexpectedly, Um Tata disclosed that he had received 10,000 from a MP who was a part of President Ruto's camp in order to support himself to support uh his legal defense during his fight against the finance bill kuna mwingine kama amemwekea mpaka fuel eh, weka fuel ya 10000 we bwana shughulika na hiyo issue bwana kama yani ikiwezekana hata isipite unaona yani mpaka ifikia tu mpaka mbunge mwenyewe anamsupport mtata kwamba we defend ina maanisha wao hawana sasa power hawana kabisa ya nani ya kuzuia hii nani hii uh, finance bill so unaona unaona the kind Uh, ya viongozi ambao tunao uwezo kalazimisha watu kufanya kitu so unaona mpaka watu wake wana finance kabisa watu ambao wanapinga hii kitu iende au isiende hii kitu siko kama unanielewa lakini acha nikuibie siri hata kabla hata kabla sijaendelea unajua sasa hii najua itapita kwenye 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 parliament ndio itapita pale na Ruto ana uwezekano mkubwa kabisa wa kuipi. Like asilimia kubwa mimi naona ikipita. Na the reason why itapita whether watavote pia uh, watavote pia hawa viongozi wa Kenya kwanza, yani watavote no hawa viongozi wa Kenya kwanza na tuongezee na waazimio. Eh itaonekana ni kama azimio ndo watashinda au au wa Kenya ambao wanaipinga ndo watafaulu. Si ndio inaonekana hivyo. But wacha nikwambie the, the reason why results lazima zitamfavor William Samoe Ruto. Hapa u, u, ujue kuna mtu fulani ambaye anaitwa Wetangula. Eh Wetangula unajua ni wa UDA kabi, ni wanani? Eh ni wa UDA siku hizi kwa sababu aliambiwa aachane na pati yake. Siku hizi ni wa UDA. Wetangula si unajua ndio boss pale ndani? Ehe, eh ndo anaamua like like chochote ambacho kimefanya mwisho siku yeye ndo anatoa end product. Eh yeye ndo anasema sasa wale wamepiga kelele, wamepiga kelele, wamepiga kelele, lakini hii ndo kitu ambacho unakuja kuwaletea. Ya yes, same same na hiyo 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 Supreme Court. Ah uh, mnapiga kelele matakomi anakuja kuwatangazia. Same tu na ABC. Mnapiga kelele alafu Chebukati ndo anakuja kuwatangazia. Sio kama unanielewa? So hapa lazima Ruto atashinda kwa sababu gani? Unaona hata hawa ambao tungejua ni watu wangapi wana support. Like wanapinga hii finance bill. Na tujue ni wangapi wana support hii finance bill ingetusaidia kwa sababu tuna total number of MPs pale ndani. Nisikize kwa makini kabisa. Tuna total number of MPs ambao wako pale ndani kwenye bunge. Haya, tungejua ni kina nani wanaipinga na kina nani wanaisapo, wanaisupport. So the reason why itakuwa vigumu kujua ni kina nani wameipinga ni kwa sababu azimio wata, wata I'm sure, I'm sure wote watasema no. Haya, kuna part fulani ya watu ambao watasema pia no hapa Kenya kwanza lakini I'm very sure hawatataka ijulikane ni wamesema no kwa sababu huko tayari washasema aina noma tutasema yes lakini kwa sababu wao ndo majority hata wetangula akiamua kufanya kichebukati itawezekana kwa sababu <laughs> eh, hapa hata uki, ukisema no wanaweza wakasema yes kwa sababu washajiwekea like tuko na majority so there is no way to lose na wote washaambia Ruto ah tutapiga Unanipata sijui lakini kwa sababu kila mtu anataka kutetea ugali wake kuna mtu atataka kujua au niseme hatapenda ajulikane amepinga au hajapinga
Kwa sababu ni disadvantage kwa kiongozi wa jubilii kupinga kwa sababu ya Ruto sio kwa sababu ya wananchi. I mean ni advantage kwa Ruto. Unanielewa sijui kwa sababu Ruto naye anajua na majority. Haya, mbunge naye hapa ashapewa nani? Asha asha, cho, asha chapo viboko viboko hapa anaogopa. Isijulikane ameweka wapi. So hakuna namna atajitokeza na kwanza kuteta, "Eh hey, hey, nini nini? Misku kwa nini misku kukubali mimi wewe oh, unapinga kitu gani na uko UDA na we ni maju, wanajua wako na majority na they know everything wanajua kila kitu so bado itakuwa ni advantage kwa Ruto yani wapende waspende upige no upige yes once unatoka UDA Kenya kwanza tuko huko huko yani yani tuko na majority yani hiyo hiyo ndio title tuko na majority so unaona gashago aliwaambiaje tuko na majority sasa nyinyi mtakuja hapa kutuambia eh hey, nini 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 lakini mwisho siku wako na majority alafu majority yenyewe hataki kuangalia wananchi wana kuna wengine ndio wanasema no but hata wakitaka kuiba watawaibia tu yani there is nothing mtafanya i'm telling you for free there is nothing mtafanya kwa sababu okay koti gani wewe unadhani koti gani Kenya hapa inaweza kapinga Ruto e, akiamua like sasa mimi naita kama supreme court ndio kubwa zaidi na ndio ilitoboa ili na kama juzi matako kapewa hapa bwana hii mnasema nini kama hao maja, hao ndo hao ambao wanafanya uamuzi hao hao ndo wamewekwa na kina Ruto hapo watakatasa ngapi kama kuome anamweka Ruto kwenye nafasi eh alafu kuome baada anaweza kachagua ka tena hapa hapa mtu chini dogo wake una expecta pinge na afutwe kazi ah hiyo starajie bwana i'm telling you for free Yaani kitu kikubwa ni ana majority. Hiyo tu imemtosha. Wewe kuna wengine wa UDA watasema no ama hapana. Yaani hapa ni majority. tunatumia majority na wanatumia na watatumia majority. Hawataangalia ni kina nani wame. I know these people. Ah uh, kwamba nyinyi wageni na watu. That's what they will do. Ni pata mzamaji wangu. But I wish. Lakini pia unajua ikisemekana iki basi ijulikane nani ameweka wapi. Hiyo pia itakuwa disadvantage kwa mwananchi kwa sababu gani? Wale wanaogopa, the only problem ambao tunayo ni wabunge wanaogopa. But ingekuwa like wabunge wamejitokeza like kama mbaya mbaya whether mimi ni wa UDA, mimi ni wa ODM, mimi ni wa Wiper, mimi ni wa wapi? Kama mbaya mbaya mimi nimepinga nime hiyo. Tujue ni kina nani wamepinga, tujue ni kina nani wamesema wame, wame yes. Sikuwa mnanielewa? Lakini kwa sababu watu wetu tukaambiwa nani kasema yes, nani kasema no? Alafu waliosema yes kuna wengi au waliosema no kuna wengine hawataki ijulikane waliweka wapi kwa sababu Ruto ndo wao wao watakuja watamkujia akina Ruto watamkujia eh kuna wengine hapo ndani wana 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 nani wana avoid tenders zao zichukuliwe au zisipelekwe sehemu nyingine kuna wengine hapo wanaogopa nafasi ambazo wamepewa na muungano kistoke Yaani kila mtu ana defend tu mambo yake pale. But a true leader, a true MP ambaye anajali mwananchi. I'm telling you for free. Atajitokeza na kusupport au kupinga. Ispite hii kitu. Sisi nimwambia, nimwambia vizuri sana. Lakini wale ambao wanajiangalilia, ah, ye bora tu yani Ruto anavotaka anavosema. Hakuna mtu ambaye anafurahia hii kitu. Ruto asudanganye by the way tungekuwa tunaona yani tukiachana na chuki like tuache mambo na kuchukiana yani tuache utimu za wazimio sio Kenya kwanza na nini kila mtu analalamika mpaka hawa hawa watu wa Ruto ambao tunawaita hustlers even them they are complaining so uwezi ukajitokeza na uambie watu like eh eh unaona hawa ndio wanazuia msipate kazi no nyie mme tu promise mambo mengi hamjafanikisha hasa tuna uhakika gani hii kipita ndio tutapata kazi Afu kitu kinyewe watu wanaielewa na wanaijua. Sio wote wanataka kufanya mjengo, sio wote ni mafundi. Like uh, yani hakuna. Yani nimejaribu kutafuta mbinu, nimejaribu kutafuta formula, nimejaribu kutafuta shimo, yani yeye ni place. But sipati. Like sielewi watu wanai support vipi hii issue. Na wale wale ambao wanai support wako wapi? Hawaonekani bwana. Unaona sasa ilivyokuwa ngumu. Ah uh, umtata uh, hapa anasema The senator withheld the MP's name but emphasized that this person action show 
a growing decent among President Ruto's own supporters. Mswada tata wa fedha Senator Kia Mtata wa bunge wengi wa Kenya kwanza wananiunga mkono. Mmoja amenipa 10,000 leo. So unaona ni kuogopa wanaogopa hawa watu kwa sababu ndio hivyo inakuwa uh, na no makadri siku zinavyozidi kuendelea. The finance bill a crucial element of President Ruto's economic agenda aims to increase government revenue by imposing a 3% housing levy. The levy however has been met with increasing resistance from those who claim it will burden Kenyans who are already struggling. MPs who reject the finance bill have uh, received a stern warning from President Ruto who in- indicates that he anticipates full uh, cooperation from them. So naona Ruto alianza hata mapema. In fact alianzaga mapema sana kuizungumzia hiyo issue. Um nakumbuka vizuri akisema ATO tulikuwa tumekubaliana tukiwa wote sasa hivi e, ni time ya kuitimiza e, mnaanza kusema sijui nini mnani betray unaona mambo kama hayo so e, hapa mtarajie hapa watu unajua wana wamesplit yes ku split wamesplit na behind the scenes kuna maajabu ambayo yanaendelea na najua sasa hivi wanapigana sana simu na najua sasa hivi kuna watu wengine wamekeleleshwa unanielewa mtazamaji wangu so mambo ni mengi hapa maoni yako ni gani Tupia hapo chini kwenye sehemu ya comments lakini kikubwa zaidi subscribe ili uendelee kupata taarifa nyingi na mpya kila wakati bye bye